I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Glam Neficent, here. Back at it again with the big edit again, honey. Yes. <laughs> As you guys can tell by the title, this is my coming out story. Y'all, this is my second time doing this. My first time, my dumb ass deleted it by accident, y'all. I thought that it... Because I seen it on a damn playlist. I thought it was on two. Listen, I just thought it was a duplicate, so I deleted it. And I just deleted the whole damn thing. And it was just so annoying. So I am sorry about that. And since I have so many new LGBT supporters, I said, you know, let me go ahead and explain my story, how I came out, um, and stuff like that. So, if you guys are enjoying my videos, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you all for subscribing and showing your girls some love, especially on my other videos, honey. You guys have spoken clearly, clearly, you got some freaks out here, and clearly, y'all want to see, y'all want to hear some story times, okay? Yeah, like, 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 <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm trying to be the next story time queen, honey. Like, let's, let's, let's get with it. But, yeah, so, um, don't forget to, subs might as well subscribe, tap that bell so you can be notified when your girl upload. Y'all already know all that good stuff. If y'all been rocking with me, I love y'all. If y'all newcomers, what's up? Join the game, become a glam star because the glam squad be popping, honey. Be popping. Straight game. So, guys, so, okay. Um, jumping in right into it. When I was six years old, I had my first girl on girl experience. I know that's mad young. That's mad young, mad young. Even my mother was like, what? I didn't know that. Like, of course you're not. <laughs> so, yes, I had my first girl on girl experience. So, um, I guess that's when it started, when I started to really like like girls. But I knew it was wrong, so I never said anything. Like, well, I, I felt it was wrong because of how my family was. Like, you know, very religious. Not very religious, but, like, mainly, like, my grandma, you know, she's very religious and stuff. And... You know, my mom is not homophobic at all. My mom loves gay people, which is great. And my grandma's not homophobic, but you know, like, you know how it is with grandmas, especially when they're like, um, they play parts in church, like deacons and stuff like that. And, you know, so, um, yeah, when I was six years old, I went to this daycare camp, this after school program. And there was this girl there and she told me, yo, meet me in the bathroom in 10 minutes. I didn't know what 10 minutes was. I was a kid, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna go now. So I went with her, we started kissing, and just, I don't even know. Like, so it's crazy, like, you gotta watch these kids. So, yeah, that was my first girl on girl experience, and honestly, I've always liked her, always thought about her, not no more, but I thought about her all the way up until, like, I was like 18, 19 years old, okay? So, um, here and there, during high school, I would talk to girls, and I would flirt with them, but I would never, like, never think about bringing them home, becoming a family, nothing. Like, I I, I was talking to men. I mean, the way my family was set up, I was like, well, I ain't trying to get kicked out. And I was just scared. I was scared to come out. Like, I didn't know what my mother was going to say. I was super, super afraid, super scared. But, you know, my auntie, she's a lesbian, and she's happy, and everyone loves her. So, you know, she's kind of somebody I look up to. But, um, yeah, I just didn't think anybody would like accept it i just i was really really scared okay so um 19 okay i'm out of school and um what happened was <laughs> whew, i'm out of high school so i started talking to someone and she kind of bought that out of me like she just we we because before i used to just play around with girls like i would just like probably kiss them in a closet or something or go to their house and fill on their butt or let them fill on my butt but I never really like took it there took it there until I turned like 19 
So 19 was when I like went to like first base and um, kissed the girl, touched the girl's cootie cat, all that. Also in third grade, I used to stare down my teacher's um, shirt and I liked, you know, I had the biggest crush on my third and fourth grade teachers. There was these two white ladies and they was just smelled like peaches. They just smelled so good. But one of them, she never wore bras. She was tall and skinny, never wore bras. And I would just, I would catch myself staring at her boobs. And I'm like, oh my God, this is wrong. Like, I should not be staring at her boobs. But she'll be like, you know, leaning over like, oh, I need help. Like, knowing I'm not paying attention, but I'm just looking down her titties like, oh, I touched this other, um, one of my friend's boobies when I was like in fourth grade. And she was like, why would you do that? I'm like, oh, it was a mistake. Like, I noticed I always had crushes on girls. I just never said anything about it. I just always thought it was wrong because I was, I grew up in a church. So I just always thought it was wrong, okay? So then, um, okay, fast forward, high school. I used to flirt with girls. Had the biggest crush on one of like the biggest fucking studs of the school. Everybody had a stud in a school that used to play basketball, that was mad cute, with braids or long hair, got perms, Jordans, looking good, fucking Pradas, all that. Okay, everybody had a girl like that, and I had one in my high school, and I had the OD crush on her. Then, um, uh, okay, so fast forward, I'm now in college. So, the summer before I was supposed to start college, I was talking to girls, okay, I was flirting with girls, and my mother, she, I think my mother knew. She knew already because she would stop, like we would be talking and she would just stop and be like, question, you gay? And I'd be like, no, <laughs> no, like, cause I, I was so scared to tell her. But then I just got the courage one day and I just told her. So um, she would ask me, ask me, ask me. I would say, no, no, no. And at the time, I was definitely flirting with a girl, talking to girls. And I just left guys alone, honestly. Like, the feeling that I get with women is crazy. Like, it is freaking crazy. So I was just like, you know what, let me just go ahead and just tell my mother. So I got paid from work. I said, let me take my mother out. I took my mother and my little brother to BBQ's. It's a restaurant in New York, y'all. I'm sure they're all around the world, but it's a, a, a Texas-style um, uh, restaurant called BBQ's. I took my mother there. And I, so ironically, a couple came. A couple came and sat down, and what were they? Lesbians. It was um, a stud and a femme looking mad cute, by the way. Mad cute, they walked by, smelling mad good. I'm like, Ma, so what, what would you say? Or how would you feel if I told you I was like them? And she was like, what? And I'm like, like them, like, like girls. She's like, you like girls? I was like, I think so. Like, I was still scared, you know? Still very scared to tell her. So she was like, do you like girls? I'm like, sometime. Like, you know, still not, still not being blunt. Like, still not being honest. So I'm like, yes, I like girls. Like, I'm like, so I told her, I was like, I like both. Because at the time I was bi, but I really did like girls. But I came out basically. Um, so I was like, yes, I like girls. Like, so I noticed she got a little like, <laughs> she got a little sad. She didn't want to eat no more. She told the waiter to pack up her food. Now, see, in my first coming out story, y'all, I actually interviewed my mother. I asked her. I was asking her questions, and she recorded it, and I, like, a voice note, and I um, put it in a video. But I don't have it anymore. I think I'm going to try and find it. I think I might still have it. I don't know. I'm going to look on my USB if it still works, and I'm going to see if I still have it. I hope I still have it. But yeah, guys, um, she basically said how she felt. You know, my mom was definitely sad for like a few weeks, but she got over it and she was like, listen, you're not a murderer. You ain't evil. You, you, you're you a good daughter. You go to school, you go to work. I have no problem with it. Like, you know, I, I she said that she upset me for me and that was it. So I was very, very happy with how it turned out, how everything turned out, you know, I was I was very very happy. Um, I told most of my family, like my mom, my brothers, my uncle, my aunts. Like I told them, but I didn't tell my grandmother. My grandmother was the biggest challenge ever, more than anything. I didn't even get to tell her. Someone else told her, which is crazy. So yeah. Um, so with that was, she found out and she wasn't happy at all. She said, you know, she don't agree and stuff like that. But you know, it's like I love my grandmother. She's she's comfortable with with it now. But she she did not she was not she was she did not approve, honey. 
she did not approve. Um, you know, she's very religious, so she didn't approve. And but it's no harm in it, so why not? Like, you know, love me for me. So uh that was this this story Tom is definitely not as good as the first one. The first one I was crying, I was looking hit, I was just crying, telling you guys how I felt, everything. But this one, I'm like I, I'm not it's not the same as the first time I me telling my coming out story. But I just want you guys to know, like, I was very scared to tell my mom, okay? It took me so long to tell her. And I just felt so free once I did it. So all I want to say is, for advice for anyone coming out, definitely speak to someone who you know who came out and ask them their story. Ask them some advice. Me, advice I can give is... Um, definitely tell, like, if you are going to come out, do it around a family member that you know will have your back, just in case if your parents or whoever you're telling is abusive. Try to have someone there that will have your back and protect you, kind of, especially if you feel like you're going to be in danger. Um, and definitely, you know, try to be brave, okay? Like, try to be brave about it and do it when you're ready okay do it when you're fully ready and when you fully know that you are definitely lgbtq everything like definitely you know like i just and i just feel for the people who are who who are scared to come out because of uh, maybe they live with someone or they live with family and they're scared they're gonna get kicked out and it's just so freaking sad it's so sad how many people are hiding and i'm freaking getting emotional right now because it's just so sad to me because i just wish that people would just come on it's 2020 like come on like we're in a whole new motherfucking decade excuse me a whole new decade everyone i mean we're not murderers we're not hurting nobody like what's the problem why why does it matter who we identify as why does it matter who we want to be with grow old with have sex with like it should not matter like you prefer me to have about 10 kids running around to my grandma like you know what i mean like i don't know i just i just want everybody to just be careful on my lgbtq family be careful when you're coming out just be smart about it um and especially like try to have something set up so if you are coming out and you know your family is very religious and they don't play that and you won't have anywhere to go or they're going to kick you out try to see if you can um google uh homeless shelters for the lgbt i know new york has a lot of them i would try to leave them down below but i know new york has a lot of the and they actually help you because in my building they actually helped out this lesbian couple um, I can tell that they are like a part of that 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 uh, club that they have, and they help them out, got them an apartment. Like they definitely help you out, get get you on your feet, get a job. Like so, definitely try to have somewhere set up, especially a safe environment, because it's so many people who teenagers who kill themselves because they couldn't come out, family too religious, or it came out and they got killed by their parents. Like it's just so fucking sad. It's so sad, and I just feel for them. So, yeah. It's just, it's sad to me, but um, just try to be smart about it. That's one thing I can say. Make sure you solidify a place to stay, and you got to have a bag packed already. But again, do it when you're around people, either a sister, a brother, a friend even. Have them be outside or something so you can like run out. Just be just be careful when you are coming out. Thank God that I didn't have to go through anything violent, okay? My mom was just sad. I know she was crying, but she got over it. And now she accepts me for me. She even be trying to hook me up with girls. Like, so <laughs> I just want to say that is my coming out story, okay? And um, I love you all. People who are not out yet, people who are out, just live life okay don't worry about what other people gotta say like screw them okay be you be true to yourself live your truth period okay so thank you guys for watching um let me know if you got teary eye with me leave me some rainbows down in the comment section and i love you guys so don't forget to love yourself first keep it glamour and come on out i'm coming out I want the world to know, got to let it show, ay, ay, ay.
<laughs> Lady y'all. Uh... Yes, I got cake and it's no debate. Paper I chase every day and chase. Bitch is gonna be 